la 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 Hi, I'm Sandy Shepard and I'm in Norman, Oklahoma and I am in the mood to create a new recipe. It's all about cooking something quick and easy and something under 30 minutes or so and I think I've come up with the perfect thing. And what I'm in the mood for is Italian. So I have my fettuccine, well, I'm letting it drain. I'm normally, when I make a sauce for my pasta, this is what I end up with. I'm using a whole variety of herbs to get that homemade flavor that is has layer upon layer of taste and I found a replacement for all of this. I am so happy that I have found what has got to be the 21st century's best new product on the market and that is Philadelphia cream cheese their new cooking cream and it comes in four flavors and the one I'll be using today is the Italian cheese and herb and I think I'll call this dish my Italian cheese and herb duck ragu because I had roasted a duck for my husband and I and of course there were a lot of leftovers so I'm going to be deboning that and using the rest of that duck in this now you could use any kind of poultry you want. You could use leftover turkey. You could cook or bake a chicken or you could buy a roasted chicken and debone it. Whatever you want to use will work perfectly well. The thing is just to keep it simple and not so that you're in the kitchen for eight hours slaving over a hot stove. So I'm going to start by frying up some applewood smoked bacon and I'll be back with you in just a minute three pieces of bacon that have been fried crisp and drained and chopped. And next in the bacon drippings I'm going to add I'm going to add a cup of sweet yellow onion that's been chopped, two stalks of celery chopped, and about six nice sized baby portobello mushrooms. Okay, let's get that going. And this just has to saute for a short now, time. To do that, I'm going to add a half a cup of chopped Italian flat leaf parsley. And I'm going to start my little timer so I can see exactly how long I'm cooking everything. La 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 Oh, this is going to be yummy, I can tell. And it's going to be restaurant quality. That is the, the wonderful part about it. They're going to thank whoever's coming to dinner to eat this with you. They're going to say, what fancy Italian restaurant did you get takeout from? <laughs> and they're never going to know how quick and easy it was. And all because of this one new ingredient that saves so much time. And it saves money, too, by not having to use that whole basket full of herbs and spices that I showed you earlier. This is a wonderful new twist to give the uh, modern-day cooks in their kitchen. Okay, those look really good. The onions are translucent, the uh, mushrooms are cooked, and yet the celery still has its bright green color along with the parsley. And that was all in like three and a half minutes. So that's good enough for that part. Now, the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to add in my duck. And like I said, you can use any kind of poultry. And just get something that's quick and easy, or use your leftovers. Now, I'm going to deglaze the pan, now that I've added the duck, with a half a cup of a Cabernet Sauvignon, which is a dry red wine, and it really complements the duck. I always like to use the same wine that I'll be serving with the meal, and in this case, the dry red. And uh, We've got that same earthiness going on with the duck and the, and the mushrooms, and it'll just be a really good complement. I'm going to now add in the bacon and, of course, the new cooking cream. 
And look at this, everybody. Look at this. It is pourable. You're not going to, it's not like anything else they've ever come out with. Uh, and I'm talking about Philadelphia cream cheese. This is the answer to quick and easy meals. I know it is. Now, at this point, you may want to add in some seasoning. So let me take a little taste test here. And we'll see what is needed, if anything. I think we're good to go. I think I'll add just a pinch of black pepper. Now, all we'll do, I'm going to put it on low, and now I'm going to add in the fettuccine. Okay, the last thing I'm going to do is add some grated or shredded Parmesan cheese. Now I'm going to slip this into a serving bowl. And that's how simple it is. And that was all in probably under 10 minutes just for this part. I'm thinking it's well under a half an hour to make this whole dish. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit more cheese and let that melt. No more than maybe a half a cup at the very most. Okay, and we'll take it, it to the serving place. Look at this. Look at that big, beautiful bowl full of pasta. And Doug, mmm. And I cannot wait to try this new product and see how it compares to my hour-long sauce cooking. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my gosh. This is every bit as good as any homemade sauce would ever be. My family's going to think that I slaved over the stove for hours. And so will all of my guests. This is just a wonderful product. I'm very, very pleased with it. And it's quick. It's easy. We had 10 ingredients and we had 8 steps. Simple, easy, under a half an hour. Beautiful new product. I can't wait to test the other three. Bon Appetit!